What's up guys? So today I am back for a short little install video and I say it's short because it should take about five minutes max. It's a very straightforward install. Now I noticed that my cigarette lighter was burned out about six months ago or so and I am finally just now getting around to installing the part. I have an OEM replacement cigarette lighter here and it's been riding in my center console for about six months. <laughs> um, I just haven't had a chance to install it. So today I'm making a video showing you how. So if you take a look at my cigarette lighter here, you will see that it is illuminated green, which means that the light works. However, if I plug something in, I'm not getting any power. This adapter here should be blue and I have my GoPro charger here and these two lights should be illuminated and they are not. So what I suspect has happened is the link on the back of it has probably burned out. It's actually a safety feature. It's very similar to a fuse where if there's too much voltage or amperage, whatever, I'm not an electrician, going through your cigarette lighter, um, it burns itself out so that it doesn't kill whatever you're powering or cause a fire in your car. So the only way to fix this is to replace it. Now, in order to replace this, it's very simple in this car. First of all, I wanna take out this stupid little ashtray. Then I wanna pop this out, pops right up and that will allow me to get to the back of my cigarette lighter here. Now, first of all, I'm going to put my car in reverse to get the shifter out of the way. That will give me a little bit more room to play with. Now, I'm gonna have three connections. The first of which is here. This is for the illumination light. It's just a quarter turn to the right, and that pops out. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to take the keys out of my ignition and put them on my passenger seat so that I don't have any power going through this. It is advisable to completely disconnect your battery, but for something like this, a circuit that isn't gonna have any power anyway, at least on my car, I can't speak for yours, I don't really see the need to disconnect the battery. So next I'm going to pop off these plugs that go to the back of the lighter. So now that that's disconnected, I could rotate this around and give myself even more room. Now the one tool you will need for this install is a pair of channel locks, which I have right here. Now this little ring here that is crimped is actually a locking nut. So I'm just going to loosen this. This comes off. The back half of your lighter comes out. And then the front half will pop out. Now here is a side-by-side -side comparison of both outlets. On the left-hand side, I have my old outlet, and on the right-hand side, I have my new one. As you can see, this is the link I was talking about right here. It acts as a fuse if it gets too hot and it will actually burn out. Now, on the left-hand side, on my old outlet, you could see that it is much thicker, and that indicates that it got very hot and distorted the insulation around the wire. Now, to install my new outlet, I'm simply going to perform the steps in the reverse order. First of all, there is a small notch on the inside of this ring here, and that corresponds to a bump right here on your new cigarette outlet. So you wanna line that up, and it should pop right in and it will sit flush. Then on the back side, you wanna take this housing piece and slide it over. This part here should line up with this ashtray area, and it should slide in. Now, as you hold that in place, you simply have to replace the locking ring at the bottom. Now, I didn't over tighten it, I just snugged it up so it won't vibrate loose. Now, you wanna make sure that you replace this short little wiring harness from this foam to these clips and this light because your new outlet will replace it. And I still don't have any power. So, that tells me that there is some other issue going on with my electrical system at least in regards to this outlet. So that does not fix my problem, but in case you ever have to replace a cigarette outlet, that would be how you do it on a Subaru. All right guys, so it turns out that I have some issue going on other than my cigarette lighter, which is fine. Um, I haven't noticed any other electrical issues with this car, so it can't be that serious of an issue, I hope. Um, but I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. You know, sometimes you try to fix something and it doesn't work or sometimes you fix something and you realize that that wasn't the part that's broken. So that's how it is fixing cars. So it's not always just an easy fix. Uh, this was a very simple install. It only took two, three minutes, but it turns out that wasn't my problem. So I'm just gonna keep straight with you guys, keep it honest because 
there's no point in lying or making things up. So that's how you install a cigarette lighter in case you were wondering, but it unfortunately did not fix my problem. So I'll probably try and troubleshoot this a little bit more. Right now for me, it's really not a major issue. I actually do have another cigarette lighter in my car that I can use for power if I need it. But this is a very small annoyance, so I will probably troubleshoot it in the future at some point. And when I do, I'll be sure to bring you guys along. With that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll catch you guys next time. Without creasing it, you have to take it out the front. So I'm thinking about removing the windshield myself, doing the headliner little project, and then whenever I have Safe Light or whoever come back, they could install the window. When I do get new glass, I am going with OEM or OEE, either PPG or Pillington, not this garbage SGC whatever safe light crap that's on there now. All it does is chip and crack and it sucks.